Hi, so for this problem, it says that Jack inherited a perpetuity due with annual payments of 15000 He immediately exchanged the perpetuity for a 25 year annuity due having the same present value. The annuity due has annual payments of X. All the present values are based on an annual present value 10% for the first 10 years and 8% after. Calculate x. Okay, so this looks like we have to set up two different equations equal to each other. But first, let's start with the perpetuity due. So it says that he inherited a perpetuity of 15000 and he immediately exchanged it for another type of thing. Well, in order to calculate the perpetuity due, firsthand, we have to observe this. It says that all the present values are based on an annual effective interest rate of 10% only for the first 10 years and 8% thereafter. So what would that look like if it would be applied to a perpetuity due? Well, for one thing, we know that the perpetuity would first start with one over 10% interest rate or just 15,000 over 10%. Then after the 10 years are up, then it would switch over to 8% thereafter. Right. But the thing is, is that we can't just say that it's just this plus one over eight percent. Uh, we also have to keep in mind that we have to get rid of what has occurred previously in order to compute the second part properly. So that's why we're gonna do one over 0 0.08 minus one over 0.10 to compensate for what happened in the earlier years. Another thing is that we also need a um, discount this amount back 10 years as well. So, because it because the 8% effective was not happening in the first 10 years, so not only do we have to subtract to the first hand effective rate of 10% perpetuity due from the second part of representing 8%, but we also have to discount the 10. Now, we have our whole equation, right? But one last thing that we need to worry about is we need to know that this is a perpetuity due. So again, what is the equation for your perpetuity due? Well, you can observe this equation. It's a perpetuity due consists of the regular perpetuity plus one, right? So this whole thing is a regular perpetuity plus one. So that's how we denote the perpetuity due. We put this in brackets. And we observe that this is our whole equation, right? Now, let's first solve for this whole equation, right? So I'm going to first um, do 1 over 10%. Which is 10. K plus one over point zero eight, which is twelve point eight five minus ten V to ten. Right. So twelve point five minus ten times times, um, this is, we have to discount back at 10%, right? Times uh, 1.10 to the negative 10. Okay, so, so we get 0 0.9638, um, blah, 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 plus 10. Okay, this is going to be 
eight, five, eight, two, two, right? Uh, then plus one. Um, okay. Oh, you can also just add one more to the thing, 11.9638, multiplied by 15,000, and we're going to get 1794574754 Now next thing is that we where the next part is his hand doing he may the exchange of perpetuity for a 25 year annually do have the same present value so it has equal payments of x so based on what is happening with the effective rates, it's an annuity due. So it's going to be payments of X and it's going to apply to the annuity due of the first 10 years to do that 10%. Uh, and then um, plus the next 15 years left which will denote 8%. But we also have to compensate for what is happening here by discounting back by 10% uh, at, uh, oh, 10 years at a 10% like we did for the perpetuity. All right, so this X is gonna apply to all of these annuities. So let's solve for this annuity. I'm going to convert this to an immediate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 1 by 1.10. I'm going to do 1.1 as the payment, 10 as the number of years, 10 as the interest rate, 0 as the Future value, computer present value. So it's going to be 6.76, right? Now for this one, it's going to be 1.08, right? So 1.08 as the payment, 15 as the number of years, 8 as the interest rate, 0 as the future value, computer present value. It's going to be 9.24. Right. Yeah, I don't want to discount 9.24, so I'm going to get 9.24 times 1.10 to the negative 10. I'm going to get 3.562, right? Then I'm going to add this back to 6.76 and get 10.32. Equal, right? Uh, x. Now I'm going to say this equal to what I got from the previous. I'm going to solve x by dividing this by this. So I'm going to do 1794.57.754 divided by 10.3224. And I get uh, 17,385.28. So if I look at the entry choices, nowhere in your here, near here, near here, near here. So the answer is closest is gonna be B.